So today I'm not posting my typical run of the mill video. Which puts Kingdom Hearts Part 4 further behind, but that's not the point, okay? That's not the point. So I'm going to be doing an art video. If you guys didn't know, I like to draw, although I haven't done digital art in a long, long time. So I apologize if my if my art seems a bit rusty, if if it comes out looking like complete dog shit. But um, anyways, I've been thinking of making a small little series depending on whether or not this video does good. I will continue more videos like this. In which, I mean, I don't expect it to do as well as I hope it to do considering my social blade analytics and all. But anyways, today, your boy has a little treat for y'all. I'm going to be studying the art styles of different artists, mostly anime and mostly anime artists or mangaka should I mind you and for the first installment of this series I will be studying the art style of none other than Mr. Zippers and Belts himself <clears throat> I mean Tetsuya Nomura if you couldn't tell from the title of this video Tetsuya Nomura has drawn for many different titles within Square Enix dating back to Final Fantasy 6 Nomura then went on to design one of Final Fantasy's most iconic characters Cloud Strife in the 2000s, however, is when he began working as a director of Kingdom Hearts, which is a crazy concept itself. A mix between Final Fantasy and Disney, a concept that you wouldn't expect to mesh so well together. So yeah, I'll be studying the art style of Tetsuya Nomura, character designer of Final Fantasy, and lead director of Kingdom Hearts. I will meet y'all in a bit. Alright, now we're back, and um, yeah, I think we can get started with the art studying. <clears throat> Oops. Alright, so let me just, uh, and my drawing tablet isn't plugged in. Well, now. Alright, now that I'm actually back, we're going to get into the main studying part of this. So, I prepared two reference canvas... Can't speak. Anyways, I've prepared two reference canvases with a few images that I feel will help us learn how to, you know, kind of get all of this out of the way, I guess. I don't know how to explain it, but uh, <clears throat> I'm doing live commentary in this part so you guys can see my viewpoint, my opinions, da 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 da. Ignore that background noise, that's nothing. <clears throat> But uh, yeah, so first I think we should go into <clears throat> Sora's original design, you know, start studying the proportions and everything. So from my perspective, it seems like Tetsuya Nomura in his art style has a lot of realism mixed with, you know, his own sort of wacky art style or um, anatomy style. So his proportions are really... His, his proportions are really good, I can I can say that much. But yeah, one thing I noticed about his characters is that their proportion, like, not proportion per se, but like, like for instance, Sora in the thumbnail, he's like really skinny. <clears throat> and that's one thing I have to note is that his characters are a lot skinnier than the average human, because like, the average human, when you look at the average human's anatomy, it's like, okay, so we're normally sized. Although, obviously, males are a lot more broader than females. Excuse me. And then, like, in his anatomy style, like, even though we're still a lot skinnier than we actually are, like, um, <clears throat> even though they are skinnier than we actually are, it still has that, you know, identity. So you can, I, I, you can identify which, so, okay, I can't explain this properly. Let's look over here this time since this actually has a better example of what I'm trying to explain. So, see how Sora's body is formed? It's not like a natural human, cause like, I mean obviously he's really thin. Like, like even now, like sure, Tetsuya Nomura's art style has gotten way better than it was back then. So, he himself is able to do a lot more realistic proportions. But even so, they still are a lot they still are pretty skinny, but other than that, I feel like I feel like his anatomy style 
other than those tiny nit nitpicks are is, is really good still manages to stay true to actual proportions somehow well not actual proportions per se but it still tries to capture that like for instance how males are still a lot broader than than the females though I don't have a lot of females to actually reference off of besides Kyrie and Aqua but <clears throat> see right here his body see how his body is formed it's a lot skinnier than the actual human body and I'm sorry if I don't sound like this or if I don't sound right per se I am not used to doing drawing videos I haven't done a drawing video in like uh, I'd say <clears throat> I'd say a solid six months at least but um yeah one thing I do have to note is that is that the hands are abnormally big like for no reason same with the feet actually like if you take a look at Kyrie's feet from uh, from Kingdom Hearts the original when she's wearing those what are what are those crocs I think yeah when she's wearing those like sandals you can kinda see her feet and my god they're humongous cause like one thing I can say like certain body parts are just larger than you would expect an actual human's body part to look like so it's like yeah the hands the hands are a lot larger and there are a few things that I want to get into that I'm afraid I might not be able to get into due to like time constraints perhaps so I'll probably end up covering them in separate videos themselves so uh, yeah that's an analyzation or yeah I think I said that right of um <clears throat> I was about to say Asta. What's his face? Sora. So I want to get into things like drawing eyes, drawing hair, etc. I don't know if I'll be able to do it in this video though. That's why. But anyways, aside from that, I want to go into studying Riku because obviously I I'm going to be doing this to um, Riku and uh, Cloud over here. Uh, let me Cloud over here. So I want to study Riku and Cloud mainly because. It shows the more muscular males in the series and obviously Cloud is like buff for no reason Riku's also buff for no reason but then again he is supposed to be that one male protagonist but anyways aside from that so uh, actually Riku's face like the face shapes they obviously vary they could go from being a, a thinner face to like being rounder like Sora's but yeah, obviously Riku. Riku is a clear example of that. So yeah, Riku isn't as thin as like Sora, so he actually does have a bit of realism to him. I don't know the the anatomy style, cause like what's his face, Tetsuya Nomura. He his style really varies depending on the series he's drawn for. Cause like in Kingdom Hearts, some of the characters may be thinner than like than reality would allow them to be. Like, look at Kyrie, she's pretty thin. Look at Sora, he's pretty thin. Hell, look at look at um that one care I saw concept art for one character in uh what what was it? Um Birth by Sleep, I think. Uh, it was a character from Final Fantasy and he was like really thin. So like the uh, the anatomy in Final Fantasy is actually a lot more realistic compared to Kingdom Hearts because Kingdom Hearts obviously the characters are a lot thinner than you'd expect them to be the the anatomy style really isn't <laughs> realistic but at the same time it still manages to capture things that differentiate the genders so yeah like I like I stated previously like a like a fucking broken record it manages to capture the fact that men are still broader than women have there's those little little subtle differences that you can notice and like let's take reference to uh, Neku Niku Nigi <laughs> I don't know let's take reference to him from a uh, what's his face what's the game called the world ends with you now obviously now this one was just way like he's so skinny he's like a twig honestly I could snap him but like like even now Riku is still he's not skinny per se but he's he's on the ropes there 
it de it really depends honestly it depends with the character because Riku isn't a skinny character by any means he has as you can see he has a lot more muscle definition so yeah Riku has a, a lot more muscle definition than Sora because obviously his arms are like Sora I don't think Sora works out clearly because like look at his arms so, yeah Sora and I mean not Sora Riku's anatomy over here it's not as I mean it's still it's still a lot like I don't know how to explain it it's just that Riku isn't as skinny as the others obviously and huh, I I guess the right thing to say is that his anatomy is a lot more realistic than Sora's since Sora is pretty pretty thin for a young male but you know it it just depends on the character it depends on the character that you're drawing that's all I have to say so let's see now, trying to guess what his legs look like is uh, is a challenge on its own. I'm guessing it sort of goes like this, but however, my guesses aren't usually right, so it, I don't know. Okay. In other parts, if I do end up making this thing like a series, like if I do end up making this uh, Studying the Kingdom Hearts art style a multiple part series, then I will end up going through, I'll probably end up going through like how he does line art, how he draws hair, eyes, etc, etc. So if you guys do want to see that and if this video does do pretty good for the um, the amount of subs that I have, then you know, I'd, I, I might consider doing it, I might consider doing it. And you know, if you want to, you can add me on Discord. Ask me, ask me any personal tips if you want to. I'll have my, uh, I'll have my Discord tag on the screen. You'll be able to add me on Discord and da 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 da. And you know, I wanted to do art because I one, I got this drawing tablet pen. Art is one of my main passions. Aside from wanting to develop, aside from wanting to make music and maybe even get into coding. But uh, yeah, let me, um, let me stop on my little tangent. Let me stop on my little tangent, excuse me, goddamn, I cannot speak. So, um, I'm going to start analyzing the hands, because as you can see, these hands, I mean, if you saw my hands, I mean, my hands are pretty big, so I have no room to talk, but <clears throat> as you can see right here, the hands are pretty well formed, you know. You have to get them creases, right, them hand creases, and you have to have really good form, and I really like the way he draws the fingers, by the way. That, that's really nice and you know the way he draws clothes is also really nice too mr. zippers and belts man himself but uh yeah let me stop let me stop insulting one of my favorite artists so yeah I I, I want to take a gambit a gamble and say that the way he draws hands is kind of based off of the Disney art style for Kingdom Hearts specifically is I mean take a look at his Final Fantasy art and you can see that in final in this Final Fantasy art, it's a lot more grounded in reality as to where as to where Kingdom Hearts. It's a crazy concept that you'd never expect to work so well, but it just so happens to work to the point where you won't cringe at seeing Donald Duck and Cloud in the same shot. But uh I wanna take a before I move on to any of the feminine characters, I wanna take a big look at like at Cloud's muscles because honestly the muscles drawn on Cloud is like okay first of all this man is buff for like no reason well I mean it's kind of I, I can kind of understand why but second of all the the muscle definition just drawn here is really great I like the way like because like when it comes to drawing male characters one of the, the stronger male characters drawing muscles is one, re one really good way to learn how to draw to draw uh, different body shapes because when it comes to learning how to draw different body shapes one thing that I have to say is that like when it comes to muscles you have to work on drawing specific muscles like like you know biceps triceps mm, maybe a bit of the uh, I don't know abs as well I don't know the um, I don't know all the muscle groups but I do know that you can work, you can work, you can start your way up from practicing, maybe, because like, okay, I want to say this right now, 
I like in terms of practice, I condone tracing. Cause like, I mean, you can't go out here pulling the master media and claiming everything as your own. So one thing you could do to practice is to trace the anatomy of your favorite artist, like like how I'm doing, Tetsuya Nomura. Uh, one of my other favorite artists, Hiro Mashima, uh, Yuki Tabata, um, Nakaba Suzuki. You could try. You could start off tracing from them, learning how they draw anatomy, and then applying that to how you see yourself drawing it. And then you should be able to come out with like your own style of things. Now, uh, I think I've gone on enough about the um, male anatomy. I think we can move on to the feminine spec for, to the feminine things. I don't know. I, 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 I forgot what I was about to say there. But uh, as you can see, I got Kyrie here. And over on the next page, over on the next reference canvas, I have a bit more references to take a look at. So I will do that. Now for Kyrie, mm, Kyrie. I think this I think this design is from Kingdom Hearts 2. I don't know. I haven't played the game yet. So obviously I wouldn't know. Uh, first things first, we want to go ahead and analyze. Okay, so obviously her head, the head is a lot more smaller than a male's head, obviously. And one thing I want to point out is like, God damn, these, these are some big ass ears, bro. Over here looking like Curious George. Anyways, as, <laughs> I'm sorry. But uh, anyways, we're going to want an, to an, analyze <clears throat> the female anatomy. So first, I'm, I want to go ahead and change my brush size because that's actually really bugging me right now. So I'm going to change it down to 1.7. All right, that should be good. So yeah, so first let's analyze her head size. Obviously, her head's a lot smaller because she's a female, and as well as her body proportions. But yeah, she, as a, she's still skinny, wh whether or not you want to believe it or not. And ah, my gosh, I should've. In the next video, I might I might end up doing some more like proportions, I guess, because I really should've. I really should have picked up, you know, actually I could add them to the canvas now, but eh, it's too late. I'm still, I'm recording the video right now, so I don't need, uh, there's some things on my computer that you don't need to see. But anyways, uh, obviously her arms are a lot smaller. And then the Kingdom Hearts girls, to be honest, you don't ever have to worry about, like, the, the anatomy, whether you want to believe it or not, is more grounded in reality in terms of, like, how how things are sized I guess because like I mean definitely not the hands I mean god damn look at those things like but still like <clears throat> for instance her her breasts aren't oversized I I didn't wanna I, I it's inevitable to talk about it but yeah you see that in most anime and like okay I get it but then you know just gotta you gotta pay attention to it, you know it's the small details that count it's the small details that count Obviously, if you guys, if you if you guys didn't notice, which I mean, you'd have to be, you'd have to be dumb not to notice it. Girls are a lot curvier than guys, and uh, and when you're doing a female, a female drawing, one th one reference that you can take to, in terms of drawing the body and the proportions, is like okay, take this in perspective. The girl. Okay, so you see the curves right here. So the curves right here, okay. From here to here. Now imagine that as an hourglass, okay? So you take the girl's body and that actually didn't sound right. Let me rephrase that. So when you're drawing the girl's body, imagine it as an hourglass as you're trying to capture those little curves. So okay, let me let me make note to that right here. Yeah, as you're drawing the girl, just just it, just keep in mind that the curves are kind of like an hourglass. That should help it. That should make it easier to capture the different proportions and whatnot. Okay. But anyways, let's move on. Yeah, as you can still see, there is still a bit of that thinness going on with the um, legs. I think. Yeah, the legs. And uh. Hmm. The feet, the feet for the, this, since this is Kingdom Hearts 2, the feet are definitely a bit more grounded in reality. 
Same with that Riki drawing. I think that one is from Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah, I didn't really look at it when I was downloading it. Apologies. But, um... Yeah. Okay, let me finish this one up right here. But yeah, obviously, the feet don't look as big as they did in Kingdom Hearts Kingdom Hearts 1. Because, like, when you look at him in comparison, it's like, holy crap. He really did, like, overhaul some, some, design, some design aspects. Okay. Yeah, the hands are still pretty large. If this video does good enough, then... As a bonus, as a as a couple bon like maybe one or two bonus like parts, I might end up doing like maybe <clears throat> parts revolving around how he draws weapons maybe and how he draws uh, clothes because I mean the clothes one should be fun, the weapons one not so fun, but uh yeah. Hmm. I'm deaf doing, I'm deaf gonna end up doing how he draws hair because um, I honestly really like the way he draws hair. The way he draws hair is really good. I could analyze a bit of that now, but I want to save that for like next video or something. As well as um, how he draws eyes as well. I don't want to take up too much of your time while you're watching this video, but uh, yeah. Okay, moving on to Reference Canvas 2, I actually have a couple better references that I can use. So I have, uh, <clears throat> I believe this character is named Ventus. I, I, I'm still stuck on Rechain of Memories. I'm sorry, guys, but uh, you know this video ended up pushing back part four of King of Hearts. I actually finished pre-recording it, but aside from that, this character is named uh, Ventus. That's uh, Terra, and then obviously that's Aqua. So I'm going to be study I'm going to be looking at uh, Ventus a bit. You know, since I don't really have a clear vision of uh, Sora, because like the Sora Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts doesn't really have too much Sora concept art, but I I do believe I saw one from Kingdom Hearts two, and I think that was him in Tron, Tron maybe. I haven't seen Tron before, so I wouldn't know. But uh, yeah, I'm going to check this out. So his head shape is similar to Sora, because obviously isn't he like he's like a duplicate of not duplicate, a doppelganger of Sora's, obviously. And okay, let's see. So obviously he still got the big ears going on. But then one thing I notice about this anatomy style in particular, in particularly, is that it's it's a bit more grounded in reality in terms of proportions. It's like obviously the character's still relatively skinny. It's relatively skinny, but like there's a bit more realism to it than meets the eye instance the arms are pretty the arms are well shaped having more uh, muscle definition to them perhaps the arm the um not the arms the hands are a bit smaller obviously and uh hmm. he isn't as he isn't as skinny as how Sora would be in like Kingdom Hearts 1 per se so he has a bit more weight to him would that be the right, right word I don't I have no clue but yeah the hands aren't as big they aren't he isn't as skinny and uh, yeah okay so to be honest I don't know why I have Terra in here I'm <laughs> I don't feel like looking into him I'm going to be looking more at aqua for this one because um, to be honest I mean <laughs> Bay needs some support even though I'm pretty sure she's like a highly re highly regarded as a waifu, but it doesn't matter. So okay, so her face as a female, she has a, a more of I guess a more a skinnier face I'd say, not skinny but thin or wide. That's the word. No, not wide. Uh, narrow, narrow. That's the word. Narrow. Mm, not the bird from Black Clover, but narrow. So, man, I can't wait to <laughs> can't wait to edit this video. I'm gonna have some some fire ass music in the background. But uh, yeah, anyways, so this so uh, same with uh, Ventus. Her anatomy is more grounded in reality in terms of uh, proportions. So the hands aren't as big as they were in Kingdom Hearts one because like. Kyrie, my gosh, she has some big ass hands. Like, 
And yeah, they in Kingdom Hearts 2 or Kingdom Hearts 3, from the uh, the cover art that I saw, they even resized Kyrie's hands to a more realistic looking form. Cause like, girls don't have that big hands. Let's just say that. I mean, it depends on what girl you are, but still, I, I don't see girls walking around here with Mickey Mouse hands, going around giving people high fives and stuff. And yeah, as a female, she retains that hourglass hourglass uh, formation for the body and you always got to keep that in mind while drawing the female that drawing their body is like drawing an hourglass honestly and the breasts are a bit smaller it's all good though still bay but uh yeah still retains the curviness can't really make out this shape because of her little like cloak thing in the way it's all good though it's all good though Man, I'm really gonna have to update my playlist a bit if I want this video to be bumping and stuff. I don't know. This video is gonna. I, I hope this video does good though. I hope it does. I hope I hope some of you out <laughs> as well. So I know there are some people out there who who don't have the don't have the right motivation to improve your art skills. And I, to be honest, for a while I didn't too. But I said, hey, I'm going to buy this pen or I'm gonna ask my father to buy it because you know I'm uh what they call a fucking broke ass but uh <clears throat> yeah I I was like hey I'm gonna get this pen I'm going to go out and, and improve my skills and by making this video I'm not only trying to improve my skills as an artist but I'm trying to give you know maybe some of you who don't don't feel like you're doing good I'm trying to tell you guys that it's not over you can I don't know if you have artist block fight through it you got this chief and uh, you can improve as long as you try your try your hardest you know don't give up <laughs> use that show drink that shonen juice you won't be able to give up for days bro just drink that shonen juice and all I'm trying to say is that if if you put the right amount of time into studying your art style then you'll be able to do it. One one tip I have is to study realistic anatomy so you can get proportions better and add your own twist to it. So, yeah, okay. I hope this video acts as like a, mot a motivator to you guys. That and I'm having a bit of fun while doing this. Okay, hold up, let me... Yeah, my bad. Yeah, I got them Kingdom Hearts sound effects for this. Yeah. Once again, I have pretty bad handwriting, I, if I do say so myself. But hey, it is what it is, to be honest. And uh, Terra, maybe I'll go over the muscles, because, you know, I'm a good guy. So, and the head shape, obviously. No, I'll just do the whole thing, because why not? So, Terra, he has a more thin face. And he's he's more built. He's he's stacked. My man's over here looking like a whole ass bodybuilder. But that's not the point. So anyways, Terra has a more thinner face than uh Ventus, obviously. And he's still retaining them big ass ears. Got that spiky hair going on. And the the way the muscles are drawn, it's more it's more similar to how how Kingdom Hearts 2's art has a bit more re realism to it where his his muscles his drawing is more grounded in reality uh, it's not as grounded in reality as like a manga artist like Yuki Tabata per se but at the very least it still is grounded in reality to an extent I should say cuz like I don't know I mean if you guys think I skipped over anything then please do tell me if I did in the comment section down below it would really help out so I can improve these videos for y'all that and I'm doing live commentary so that puts a bit more pressure on me to you know think of this as I go on so yeah apologies if I do sound kind of bad it would be easier to script this out and like draw all of this prior but you know it it be like that sometimes. I wanted to do this live commentary. I wanted to do. I wanted to do a mix of post commentary and live commentary. So here we are. 
but yeah hopefully this video does help some of you out let me add my last bit of notes so yeah I really do recommend that for practice purposes you guys try tracing the anatomy of like your favorite artist or something so that way you can get the gist of how they do it so <clears throat> I'm trying this, I'm saying this because I mean like, if you do want to get better at it, then I really do suggest this math method. It'll help you understand more. That and like, if you, if I don't want you to like, go out and just like trace a piece of art and post it online and claim it's yours. Cause like, that's not right. That's plagiarism obviously. And like, it's one thing to use a pose from like a reference sheet but to just straight up rip off a, an art piece that isn't right bro that is not right at all my nigga i do not condone it i do not condone it am i using that right wait yeah i don't condone it bro yeah i do i do not condone it by any means so don't go and try to trace somebody's art claim it as your own you gotta take that step from learning how to draw to actually drawing you gotta take that first step it's all about baby steps in the world of art and once you got it chief keep moving forward once you got it there's no I mean art is a thing like okay I, I stopped drawing t at time but like art is a thing to where if you if you don't draw in a while then you'll get bad so it'd be but it'd be in your best interest to maybe practice it once or twice a week at, at the most just so you don't get bad and rusty and stuff because lord knows how how that feels it does not it's not a great feeling should i tell you it's not a great feeling at all wow these red pants really don't make good for my uh for my red pen tool pencil tool my man's got the banana shoes don't exactly know how his feet are in there so I'm just gonna leave it there but yeah there we have it now I took notes on each and every one of these and analyzed most of the anatomy there so hopefully this video ends up being helpful and if this video does get enough support then I'll end up doing maybe another part but that time I'll probably be explaining a different part of his uh, art style because when I'm going to when I do like an artist an art style a specific art style depending on what art style it is it may take more than just one video to actually cover it all because like as you can see Tetsuya Nomura has many different aspects to his art style besides just the body proportions for one there's drawing the eyes doing the hair doing the uh <clears throat> his coloring style how he does line art etc etc but uh yeah i will meet you guys in a bit as you could see from that little display art isn't really a joke or i mean it could be sometimes but i mean it's it's all about observation mainly you gotta study real hard if you want to you want to make it big out there in the art world because I mean it takes a lot of practice it really does and it takes a lot out of you if you're drawing for an extended period of time because that recording back there that was like a solid 45 minutes but that doesn't that's not the point right now so anyways I want to thank you guys so much for for trudging through that awful 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 many awfuls that awful video that I just recorded and I mean I think it might be good I don't know do you think it'll be good? I don't know. You clicked on the video. You probably thought it would be good, but nobody's going to watch it because it's like this video is more than likely going to be over 40 minutes, but that's that's not the fucking point right now. All I want to say is thank you so much for viewing this video. If you guys did enjoy somehow, then go ahead and leave a like to show your support. Show your support for your boy and I accidentally hit my pop filter, but that's not the point right now. Uh, go ahead and leave a subscribe since you're still here hit that notification bell since you're still still here and uh, Yeah, as I always say be strong stay lit have a good rest of your day or night Shibo out